Hello everyone. In this video, we will determine the inverse of a linear function. In order that we can determine the inverse of any linear function, we will be following three steps. And we're gonna use these uh, three steps in this example that we have right here. So we have f of x is equal to negative three x plus six. Please be reminded that this f of x may be m of x, k of x, h of t, it can be any letter. Now let's take the first step in determining the inverse for this. The first step is to replace f of x with y. So what are we gonna do is this f of x will become a y, so I'm just gonna replace this with y equals negative three x plus six. Now we are done with the first step. The second step is to replace every x with y and replace every y with x and solve for y. So uh, I'll walk you through with that. So what are we gonna do is this y will be replaced by x. So it's gonna become an x and that is equal to negative three. This x will be replaced by y, and then that's a plus 6. So pretty much the, the y becomes an x, and then the x becomes a y. And then part of this step is to solve for y. So we're going to be, we're going to isolate this y by itself. So what are we going to do is we will clear this side so that we can have y by itself here. So we're going to subtract 6 from both sides, minus 6 and minus 6. So then we are left with, we can cross this out, this is x minus 6. So just a reminder, because others are going to say that, oh, this is going to be um, negative 5x, because we have a 1x oh, minus no. 6 is negative 5x. Remember, these two are um, unlike terms, so we cannot subtract them together. We keep them as two terms, so x minus 6. So then we can go ahead and equal this to negative 3y. And since part of this uh, second step is to isolate y by itself, so then we can go ahead and divide both sides by negative 3, divide this by negative 3, so then we are left with, that's going to be y is equal to x minus 6 over negative 3. Okay, so that's part of the second step. Now, the third step is to replace the y of the equation solved in step two with f of negative one of x. So this becomes f negative one of x is equal to x minus six over negative three. So this is the inverse of this function up here. So this is um, the inverse for this. Now, there are other ways of expressing the inverse. Um, instead of doing this, I'm just going to show the um, work up here. So first we have um, x minus 6 over negative 3 is equal to y. So we remember that this negative 3 as the denominator is the denominator for both of these. So then we can go ahead and rewrite it this way. So that would be, um, that's going to be x over negative 3 plus 6 over 3. So what I did was uh, we remember that this denominator is shared by both terms on the top. So um, x over negative 3, that's the first one. And then the other partner would be, um, I put a plus here because both of them are negative and a negative makes it a plus. So that's going to be a positive 6 over 3. So then this is equal to y. So then we can go ahead and simplify this because we have a um, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we can rewrite this as x over negative 3 plus 2 is equal to y. So then we can go ahead and express this as f of negative 1 of x is equal to x over negative 3 plus 2. So this is the other way of um, writing the inverse of this. Now, these two others are going to say, like, are they different? No, they're not different. They are actually the same. But um, they are what we call them as equivalent expression. Now, we can have another way of writing this. So instead of, uh, so we can go ahead and use this. Another way of writing this is negative 1 over 3x. So it's just the same because you have negative 1 times x is um, negative x over 3. So it's pretty much the same thing. And then we can just add plus 2 and that is equal to y. So then the other way of writing the inverse for this is f of negative 1 of x is equal to negative one third x plus two. So these three are actually equivalent equation. That means they are just all the same. 
At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. Again, the first step is to replace f of x with y. So in this case right here, I'm gonna write y is equal to 2x minus three. So that's um, the first step. I replaced f of x with y. The second step is to replace every x with y and replace every y with x and solve for y. So in this case right here, this y becomes an x and then this x becomes a y, so that becomes a 2y minus 3. And part of this step is to solve y by itself, so we're going to isolate y by itself. So in this case right here, we're going to add um, 3 from both sides plus 3. So this comes out, uh, we can cross this out x plus 3 is equal to 2y. Again, we want y by itself, so we can divide both sides by 2, divide this by 2, so then we go ahead and cross the um, 2 out, so we are left with y is equal to x plus 3 over 2. Now, we can write the um, inverse from here, which is the uh, third step. The third step is to replace the y of the equation solved in step two with f of negative one of x. So we can go ahead and rewrite this as f negative one of x is equal to x plus three over two. So this is our inverse for this um, function right there. We can write an equivalent expression for this. So we go ahead and write x plus 3 over 2 is equal to y. We remember that this 2 is the denominator for both of them. So we can go ahead and write x over 2. So that is x over 2 plus. That's going to be uh, shared by the same time here. So that would be um, 3 over 2 is equal to y. So then we can go ahead and use the third step. So that would be f of negative 1 of x is also x over 2 plus 3 over 2. So this is another way of expressing the inverse for this function right here. But these two are equivalent um, equation. Now we can have another way of doing this. And so pretty much we can rewrite this as 1 half x x plus 3 over 2 is equal to y. So then we can go ahead and write f of negative 1 of x is equal to 1 half x plus 3 over 2. So this is in um, y equals mx plus b form. So but then again, uh, these three um, inverses that we have here, so are these three equations that we have are all equivalent equations. That means they are just the same. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. This time I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to replace f of x with y. So in this case right here, I'm gonna write this as y is equal to two over three x plus four. So that's the first step. The second step is to replace every x with y and replace every y with x and solve for y. So in this case right here, I'm gonna change this y into x. And then that's going to be 2 over 3. I will change this x into y. And then that's a plus 4. So then part of this step is to solve for y by itself. So we're going to clear this right side so that we can have y by itself left on this side. So in this case right here, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, minus 4. So then this would come out x minus 4 equals 2 over 3y. Now, we want to clear, again, the right side. We want to have uh, y by itself there. So in this case right here, since we have a fraction, in order that we can undo this fraction, we are going to multiply its uh, reciprocal. So in this case right here, the reciprocal means we flip this fraction. So that would be 3 over 2. So if I multiply 3 over 2 on the right side, I will multiply the left side with the same thing, which is 3 over 2. So in this problem that we have here, we can go ahead and cross out the um, 2 and 2, 3 and 3, so we're left with y. And that's what we wanted in the second step. So this would come out, y is equal to, that's going to be 3 parentheses x minus 4, and that is over 2. 
we move on to the third step. Replace the y of the equation solved in step two with f negative one of x. So this would come out f negative one of x is equal to three parentheses x minus four over two. So this is the inverse of this um, function right here. Now we can express this um, um, in a different way, which are actually, they are actually equivalent. So what are we gonna do is we distribute the three, so I'm just gonna rewrite it up here. So I can distribute the three to both terms inside the parentheses, so distribute and distribute. Just, just a reminder, because others distribute only the first term, oh, and they no. forget to distribute the second term. It has to be to both of them. So the equation would come out 3x minus 12, because that's 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, divided by 2 is equal to y. So applying the third step, so we replace the... Um, y with f negative one of x. So the other way to express the um, the inverse would be f negative one of x is equal to three x minus 12 over two. So again, these two um, equations that we have here are equivalent equations. Now we can um, also uh, break this down. So this can also be rewritten as um, that's gonna be 3x minus 12 over 2 equals y. This 2 right here is shared by both of these terms. So we can rewrite this as um, 3 over 3 over 2x minus, that's gonna be uh, 12 divided by 2 is 6, and that is equal to y. So we can express this in, um, inverse notation, so that would be f negative one of x is equal to three over two x minus six. So pretty much this one is in y equals mx plus b form. So these three um, equations that we have here are equivalent, and these three are actually the inverse of this. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.